Hello guys and girls, welcome to the first episode of Science of the Wars, where we take a look at the science involved in star citizen. Today we are going to look at the most important thing about star citizen, the quantum travel. But before we move on to the quantum travel, we need to discuss a little about quantum mechanics, more specifically quantum entanglement. Leaving aside all the crazy mathematics and physics, quantum entanglement in its simplest are two particles who interact in such a way that no matter how far away from each other they may be, if one particle gets affected, the other particle also shows the same effect. For example, if two quantum entangled particles are set aside at the two ends of the Milky Way galaxy and if one particle was made to vibrate, the other one will vibrate at the same time. Albert Einstein defined this as spooky action at a distance. So in quantum travel, the spaceship would enter a quantum state and pop out at the destination point without any loss of time, just like teleportation. And that's not how it works in the game. Crap, gotta throw that idea out the way. So the quantum travel in the games does not work that way. It takes time to travel and the travel can be interrupted and also any object coming in between the destination points will prevent the quantum travel too neither of which will take place in a real quantum travel. So, we need something else and what will it be? A warp drive. More accurately speaking, Alcubio warp drive. While Einstein's special theory of relativity put a galactic speed limit, in 1994, a Mexican physicist, Miguel Alcubio, came along with the proposed method for stretching the fabric of space-time in a way which would in theory, allow FTL travel to take place. And what is the first thing that happens when we are about to start a quantum travel? Yeah, we get stretched out. In theory, in its simplest form, this form of space travel involves stretching the fabric of space-time in a wave which would in theory cause the space ahead of an object to contract while the space behind it to expand. An object inside the wave that is a spaceship would then be able to ride this region known as the warp bubble of flat space. And since the ship won't be actually moving but will be carried by this warp bubble, it won't break the laws of special theory of relativity. Light will still travel faster than the ship if it is inside the bubble. It is only faster than light in the sense that the ship could reach its destination faster than a beam of light that was traveling outside the warp bubble. And the best part about this is that this technology is already in development in NASA. So the universe of Star Citizen may not be that off from our reality after all. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, press the like button and don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next week with more such videos.